Hey, how you guys doing? It's Kerry Sullivan at Rockstar Triathlete Academy today. And today I'm gonna to talk about you getting Ironman results so you can go out there and crush it even more in your Ironman races. So tip number one is this, swim with attitude, all right? Swim with some attitude. When you're out there in the swim, you're gonna get bumped, you're gonna get jostled, expect it. You gotta be mentally tough, so expect to have some of that contact. At the same time, swimming with attitude also means you gotta swim in an area where you're gonna be able to avoid those situations as much as possible. All right, so one of the things that you have is you get your big main markers that you have to go around and you have to keep to the left or your right of your, your shul shoulder. Then you have the little marker buoys in between these big uh, buoys usually where you're gonna take a turn. And those, it's okay to go to the inside or the outside and avoid people. Um, and you'll find for the most part, people will stay to one side or the other of these little marker buoys between the big ones that you have to turn around. So it's okay to go into the inside and you can avoid some contact there. Also staying on the hip of a person is gonna be a good way to avoid contact rather than staying on their feet because often when you're just on the person's feet, it's hard to kind of look up and see what's going on there. So that's swimming with attitude. Tip number two, keep your cadence is high. Uh, most triathletes will keep their cadence on the bike pretty low, around 60 to 70 RPMs. And when you're doing that, you're burning a lot more fuel and a lot more energy in glycogen stores, uh, which you know you're going to really start to feel the effects of coming around, you know, 80 miles on the bike, and then never mind going on to the run. So really keep the cadence high, somewhere between 85 and 95. Usually is a good range for most people. Do that with yourself, and you'll be able to have a stronger bike and have great legs for the run. And then tip number three is uh, nutrition. And nutrition for the run is very key. Uh, be sure that you're taking in, um, you know, the stuff that you've been training with, gels, uh, liquids, whatever they are that are working for you, and stick with the calorie plan. Just don't go out there and start eating all the cookies and pretzels and Coke and whatever else that they have out there for you to consume on the run course. So do that and you're gonna see some Ironman results for sure. If you like this, go to rockstartriathleteacademy.com. Sign up for your free tips, and uh, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, if you like this, feel free to pass it on, and uh, if there's a link anywhere around here to sign up for some more tips, do that. All right, rock on guys, bye-bye.